Hey y'all, well, welcome back to Katie's Kitchen and like I promised, I'm making my cheddar biscuits. So for y'all that were at the food event, these are those, but I of course am adding lawn because that is what we do inside my kitchen. I kind of already started because it's a little bit of a process and you know I don't make them long videos because that's for, I don't know, people who do that kind of thing. So what I got in this bowl, I will Dana White for you is I got my dry ingredients, which is like my flour, my baking powder, my salt. It's like four cups of flour and like half teaspoon of baking powder and half teaspoon of bacon soda and like teaspoon of salt. It's like a biscuit recipe. I mean, you know how to make biscuits. It's a drop biscuit. And if you don't, then why are you watching this video? This is not for you. Go buy Bisquick off the shelf and then just throw it in the bowl. Don't do this to your family. And then I've also put four tablespoons of butter and like cut the butter in here. And if you don't know how to cut butter, you use like butter cutter thing. I don't know what it's called. But you, you know, cut butter. And it gets sandy, and that's how you know it's done. It looks like, like beach sand. And now let's get to making the rest of these biscuits. So, get your little garlic powder. And you know, garlic till you feel in your soul that you have enough. I mean, the recipe says teaspoon. I feel like a teaspoon because I feel like in my soul that's when I've had enough because you can never have enough garlic. Some would disagree those people would be what we call wrong. And now we're going to add our wet ingredients. That would be the milk and the wine. So you're going to need to add a cup of milk. This is a third of a cup people so don't get alarmed. So let's go ahead and throw a cup of milk in. That's whole milk. If you're watching your figure and all you've got in your house is skim milk then you need to go to the store because you cannot make biscuits with skim milk. I mean, I guess you could, but no one can eat them because that's disgusting. You need whole milk because you need fat. I mean, Lord, who makes biscuits with skim milk so nasty? And here comes the wine. I'm using Vineyard White from Now the Apple Barn. It's gonna be nice. So you don't want the flavor too much to overpower the biscuit. You want just like a hint of it. So I'm already putting cheese and garlic in here. It's not go crazy. Third a cup in there. Now don't put red wine in here. That's gone. Do weird things to your biscuits. White wine, people. In my biscuits. Don't bring my biscuits out there. Now, we just need a gentle mix. Cause like the worst thing in the world you can do, by the way, is beat your biscuits into submission. Cause they'll be tough. Nobody's gonna eat them. Nasty. So, so it just kind of starts to come together and then you need your cheese. And like, you know, get it all up in there. I used a cup of like, you know, just regular old cheddar. But you know, if you wanna get fancy with your cheese, I mean, it's your kitchen, no one's gonna stop you. Whatever kind of cheese you want. I mean, my way is probably the best way. I tell people that. You're smart, you listen. And a couple of stirs, and it all comes together until it all folds like a little ball. You know, like a little biscuit baby. Kind of all come together like that. Beautiful, they're done. Now, then you get a pan. I would suggest lining it with parchment. Like this is like one of them little fancy silky patty thingies. Parchment does the trick as well. But don't just pop them in there without putting some on here. They'll stick people, it's a disaster. Then you take a spoon and you just whack it down. That's why it's called drop biscuit. Cause they're just supposed to look like any kind of shape. It's not fancy, it's supposed to look like this. And just go to town, people. Just like, you know, biscuit, biscuit. And they're supposed to be a little bit sticky, so don't worry if it kind of sticks to your spoon. Hashtag normal. Oh, and I'm a little personal hashtag right there. I'm gonna fan go to my head, people. All right. And then don't crowd it, because they're gonna spread out a little bit, so you gotta give the little biscuity some room. And then, when your pan's full, go over here to my oven, my good friend, Mr. Ovey. It's gonna need to be at 450. And they're gonna bake about 10 to 12 minutes. Wait, till they're golden brown, your oven tells you when. My oven takes about 10, 12 minutes. And this recipe should give you about 18 or so biscuits. So I'm gonna have many more. And when they come out, it looks like this. Oh my God, look how beautiful. Look at this. Bam. I mean, if that ain't better than your grandma's biscuit, I don't know what it is. I mean, not my grandma, cause she couldn't make a biscuit to save her life. It's terrible. Biscuits and grits, that woman couldn't cook neither. But, beautiful. So, please do try this recipe, you won't regret it. Let me know how it is. Everyone in your house will love it. Stay tuned people, I'm back. This is one of many, 
I will grace your computers and the internet all summer long. So, bye for now.